Hey guys, so if you're new here, this channel is all about experimenting and playing off meta builds. So most of the time I don't really care about doing the, the highest end game content. But I do try to push every build at least to the shaper. And sometimes the build performs so well that I even want to try Uber Elder. Spoilers, I still have yet to defeat Uber Elder. But here's the thing, this build is kind of strange. It does have damage but has no mitigation and basically it relies on slowing enemies down so much that you have enough time to just physically move yourself to the safer location. But sometimes there is no safer spot and you end up dead. Oh no, did I start again with the drawbacks? Uh, well talking about pros, this build has ES on hit, life on hit, life leech and over 6000 effective life. Temporal chain blasphemy for slows, hinder from aspect of the spider for slows, occasional chilling and freezing enemies. Frost wall for like a safety helmet and if you follow my twitter you'll know what I mean by safety helmet. But jokes aside frost wall does serve a certain purpose. It can protect you from certain projectiles that do not pierce or chain or at least don't pierce or chain too much and also can sort of imprison bosses and uh, keep enemies away from you. I did manage to defeat Shaper very easily, it was one accidental death but that doesn't count. For some reason I forgot to record tier 13 elder fight but I did record tier 16 elders guardians fight. And all the Shaper guardians of course. I did defeat uh, Val Outpost boss in uh, dev 216. So overall I would say it can do almost anything but it does have well no mitigation. So if you fail to dodge something that you should dodge you will be dead. And I probably a bit overcomplicated this build. I just wanted to go with almost full Phenomu set, but it can be done in many different ways of course. The character is currently level 86 with level 21 cremation on a 6 link, but I do not have a helmet enchantment for extra geyser, which in perfect conditions would add around 500,000 dps more. And since I only 6 linked the Sire of Shard uh, at around level 84, all the way until then I was using just 5 link Sire of Shard. And I even tried a clear speed setup with ball lighting and Sire of Shard on a 5 link but I don't really like it. It could work but maybe it would work better with a different stuff like maybe even Dust Dawn on a 5 link would work better for clear speed but for cremation I wanted to specifically try using Sire of Shards. Now like I said this build is not cheap just the Phenomus gloves itself can be like over 4 exalts but you can make it work on a pure life build without the Phenomus items. You can still have life leech, life gain on hit from spells and possibly even more damage. Also this is actually a dead eye. Dead eye has everything that I want for this build. Increased AoE, quite a lot of it, extra projectile, projectile speed, critical, movement uh, and cast speed from the tailwind, but of course it can be done on other ascendancy classes. However if you're planning on using cremation for the clear speed like I did, which is probably not very smart, but you definitely want a lot of increased AoE, because that affects how far the projectiles travel, while the projectile speed affects how fast those projectiles travel, but the cast speed does not affect how frequent those projectiles shoot and cast speed only affects how fast you summon the geyser. So you don't want too much uh, cast speed. However everything increased the way projectile speed and cast speed basically gives like quality of life improvement for this build. It just makes the build feel a bit less clunky. It doesn't matter how much cast speed you're gonna get you're still gonna have to summon the corpses to be able to summon the geyser. Which is kind of silly. Why do you need corpse to summon volcano? That is one thing that I would like to see changed. For the cremation to not use a corpse and maybe just call it volcano or something like that. That would make uh, cremation much more reliable and smoother for mapping and would make people want to play it more because currently it just not many people want to use two skills to do the damage. Okay that was kind of long intro, let's talk about the items. So Sire of Shard gives extra 4 additional projectiles which is like double your DPS and also gives a, a bunch of projectile damage and makes you shoot projectiles in ANOVA, however it does not apply to cremation. So for cremation you just get extra 4 projectiles, which is a lot. By default cremation only shoots 4 projectiles per second. So extra 4 projectiles literally doubles your DPS. And in my side of shards I have cremation linked to combustion, control destruction, fire penetration, immolate and concentrated effect. And while I had only 5 link I just swapped control destruction for concentrated effect when I was dealing with bigger bosses. Next, Phenomus Weave Gloves, my favorite gloves, gives aspect of the spider which reserves 25% of your mana, which works like blasphemy temp chain, but also gives you more damage. By the way, enlighten inside these gloves will not reduce the mana cost of 
aspect of the spider. So inside my gloves I have enlightened link to blasphemy, temporal chain and then held of ash. And if you combine the boots you also get energy shield on hit and it also gives an additional spider web on enemies which gives 5% more damage. But I was kind of disappointed with this ES on hit, well maybe it would work better on like ball lighting but on cremation it doesn't give that much ES on hit. It does help but it's not that not that impressive. And in my boots I have an F linked with uh, GMP, faster casting and arcane surge level 3. I was using desecrate at the start but once I started moving faster it just did not have enough cooldown. Next if you combine it with Fenumu's helmet you can now generate power charges on hit which is a massive quality of life improvement for me because I hate using orb of storms with power charge on crit but that's basically the only reason why I'm using Fenumu's helmet. You could use some any other helmet especially if you could get an extra geyser helmet enchantment you would get more damage but you would need a different way of generating power charges and in my helmet i have frostfall linked uh, with increased duration faster casting and spell cascade you really don't have to use this frostfall setup at all but once you meet porcupines and start dying over and over and over and over again you will be happy having frostfall to protect you and it can also kind of imprison bosses in um, inside the frostfall or should i say between the frost walls and i think frost wall can actually be abusable <laughs> quite a bit not all the bosses but some bosses can still just pass through it or just use some attacks or skills to go over it so just experiment next for my body armor i needed some es body armor with a lot of life and certain resistances and i also got a spell crit just a bit and i have cast on damage taken level 1 with firestorm level 8 linked with also cold snap level 7 and blind and the firestorm works like a heal for me because remember I have ES and life on hit and it also blinds enemies so it gives me extra defenses while cold snap just creates a chilling ground which slows enemies down even more and I also have flame dash and val lightning trap. I was thinking about using val righteous fire but I prefer having a bit less damage but more charges since val righteous fire has only one charge and while lightning trap has three charges well up to three charges. And then my belt with a bit of damage, not a lot of life but some resistances as well. Decent jewel with quite a lot of life and a bit of damage as well. Then one of the rings with life gain on hit by your spells. And another one just with well fire damage leash and just life resistances ES. And the amulet is not the best but it does give a lot of life for me and a bit of uh, ES and also strength which I still needed. Now for the passive skill tree it took some planning. Like I said I probably overcomplicated this build so I had to go life and ES. Initially I was planning to go pure CI but then the build would not be as flexible and I would have to stick to certain items with certain mods and still I would barely break 7000 ES pool. Also I did have to get quite a lot of mana and mana regen. Even try to get uh, jewels with uh, mana regeneration while moving. Flat mana regen on abyss jewels doesn't provide that much. Now looking at ascendancy nodes I first took tailwind because I wanted to move faster and level up faster and the gas speed from the tailwind is not represented in your tooltip dps. Next I went with the far shot and far shot actually doesn't give you any damage you just get projectile speed from this and then took the endless munitions for extra projectile and a ton of EOE and from the uber lab I took powerful precision which will also not show in the tooltip dps but it does give you extra critical strike chance. So from the passive skill tree went through life, actually I first went through the projectile nodes and later refunded and took the life nodes at the start of the ranger area. And then went straight up. The rest of the passive skill tree is pretty usual crit staff build. It depends on how many power charges you want to have. I only have 4 power charges and like I said I'm level 86 so if you push it to over level 90 you can get another power charge or even more life. And on the jewels I just try to focus on getting more life, maybe ES and maybe some damage if possible. On some jewels I even had to get some resistances. And that pretty much covers this build. I must say it wasn't that satisfying to play it. The damage was satisfying but it just was kind of, well kind of dangerous playstyle. It's like glass cannon build. And if I were to make this build again, I would go in, in a different way, maybe without the Phenomous items and just go pure life. With dodge of course, dodge would help a lot. Now for my next build, I really want to do Ice Spear build. 
I'll try to just cover my DPS and not look at it. I just think that Ice Spear with Chain could be pretty cool uh, with Herald of Ice explosions happening for Cleary Speed and it may be another Ranger but I don't want to refund this one into Ice Spear build. I just want to experience Ice Spear right from the start. I haven't planned this build yet in Path of Building. I don't really want to plan it fully because I don't want to be disappointed with my DPS but I think it could be a pretty fun experience uh, playing with such non-meta skill which I haven't even used probably in four years. Anyway that's gonna be it for now. I'm streaming every day and you can check streaming schedule through the link in the description. Thank you for watching and see you soon.